right, guys, we'll get started. Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, not that you guys have a point. <laughs> Still gonna get that movement until you get that glucose out. True. Yeah. I mean, because his serum chemistry still shows crazy elevated glucose. It's not like he's excreted that. Exactly. Yeah. This is a really nice change. It's a much more active approach. What makes this curriculum renewal different from the usual evolution of curriculum is just the sheer scale that we've changed our mission, our vision, our program objectives. Curricular content, teaching methods, the frequency and quality of feedback, no stone has been left unturned in this curriculum renewal. When we decide to renew our curriculum, we really decided to take the best parts of the curriculum as it stands now and build on that to really uh, improve the student experience. There is a need to maintain ourselves current with you know, how our students learn. I think more than 40 plus students have engaged with the faculty in taking a very hard look at what they really should know and how they should learn. They want to learn at their own pace and they uh, prefer active learning. If you learn something and you don't plan on using it, in less than 20 minutes, more than half of it is gone. So the whole purpose of active learning is to actively engage what you learn, learn how to use it, learn how to apply it, and keep applying it and then it sticks, and sticks for a very long time. We're gonna have what's called a flipped classroom. So we're getting rid of lectures. The traditional lecture is gone. So the idea is the students will do their learning and in an independent fashion. Either by reading something or watching a video, doing some problem sets. The students will come ready to be fully engaged in small group activities in which they're really applying that learning in small group sessions, in half day sessions. They're going to try to solve problems and they're going to do that by them in small groups and then in larger groups and work with each other. The lecturer now becomes not a lecturer but a coach and can walk around and help students. We can actively ask them questions throughout, you know, when they come up immediately. If the professor was in more of a lecture format, uh, you could ask questions, but you couldn't engage in the same way. Our current students already do some team-based learning. I really like that it's hands-on. We're the ones who are actually doing the dissections. It's team-based so that we work together and we learn off of each other and all the information. Um, really sinks in after that. In addition, we're going to be teaching students meaningful clinical skills much earlier. So that's going to be an expanded part of our curriculum. In this case, was this hyperosmol or hypo? Was it this versus that? The idea is that whatever is incorporated as part of the learning objective of that day emanates from a case. By integrating everything we can across the first two years, that is the uh, basic science and clinical applications, getting rid of the separation that we have now where students learn about the normal human body in the first year, the disease process in the second year, and bring those together with all the clinical experiences. It's all integrated and combined. We think that's a better way to learn. And then with the program objectives, we have these very concrete practitioner, scholar, advocate type of roles. So by the time a student graduates, we will know I will be a practitioner, scholar, educator, communicator, collaborator, advocate, professional, and leader. I think our general strategy is to really use technology and leverage technology to make learning efficient for our students. With the development of this new curriculum, we have adopted Entrada, which is an application which will help integrate all of those pieces of the new curriculum. And Trata is actually a very interesting uh, piece of software and I've gotten the chance to work with it a little bit and it's, I think it has great potential because really we can code with whatever we want. Being able to consolidate all the different aspects of medical school software, like our scheduling software, our calendar software, all of that in one place it really helps us. As our students participate in the curriculum, they produce a lot of data. data. And we're really trying to take this data and harness it and compose it into simple dashboards that students can use to manage their own performance. Hi. So this is Jaden, he's a six week old. Um, this is, I've just been worried. But we're, we're human fluids, so hopefully that should help. I'm really excited about using simulation in the new curriculum. So we'll be using the simulation center to provide our students with practical practice opportunities with standardized or simulated patients. We're going to build it out so that we have a, a bigger center where we can use actors so you have more of a realistic um, portrayal where you can do things such as communication skills. 
We have medical students and nursing students working together to take care of a simulated patient in an acute care situation. Even though the situation, like the baby isn't real, the actor being there and being so realistic uh, for sure helped with the situation. What makes the simulation lab so valuable is that it is a safe place to fail and it is as close that we can get to interacting with real patients as possible. So if we were to do this again, how might we do this differently? It's a great opportunity to put students into teams and have them even doing some interprofessional education early on. Working with the nursing students was amazing. Some of the key takeaways were communicating amongst ourselves and in interprofessionally. I think we had a hard time figuring out who was the leader, so all those interactions were stuff that I took away from it. The end result we want to have is graduates of Rush Medical College will be excellent at communicating with other disciplines and be able to function really well in, in the future in a, in a healthcare field that is truly interdisciplinary, focused on team-based care. I'm serious though, like, is this, has his body volume gone down? We need the 21st century physician to be really self-directed, to really understand what they need. Right from day one, our students are given a lot of responsibility. To get what they need, we're giving them lots of resources, but we're teaching them to be a much more effective physician. This curriculum, I think it'll make me a physician that's a better team player and a better physician who really thinks about the patient first. And I think that combination of teamwork and patient-centered care is something I've gathered from Rush. I will continue to gather from Rush and something I'll take with me for the rest of my career.